Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about another popular method for decomposing time series data in three components. And this method is called X11 decomposition. This method is used to decompose quarterly or monthly data. And this method X11 is originated in the US Census Bureau and uh, Statistics uh, Canada. So this method is based on uh, the classical decomposition method that I discussed earlier, but it also includes many extra steps and features that overcome uh, the drawbacks that I discussed uh, about uh, classical decomposition. Particularly, one drawback of classical decomposition was uh, about the trend cycle component where some of the first few and last few observations were not available, but this method X11 decomposition it calculates trend cycle component in such a way that uh, the trend cycle component is available for all the observations. And then we saw that in case of uh, classical decomposition, the seasonal component was fixed. That is, there was no variation in uh, the seasonal component from year to year. But X11 decomposition method allows seasonal component to vary slowly over time. X11, it handles both multiplicative and additive decomposition, similar to what we saw in the case of uh, classical decomposition. Essentially, the whole process of uh, decomposing a time series is uh, automatic and it is built in uh, many statistical softwares. The algorithm is identical to the algorithm of uh, classical decomposition that I showed you earlier, where we extract the trend cycle component by using moving averages and then we detrend the series and uh, from the detrended series we extract uh, the seasonal component and uh, from that we extract uh, the remainder component. Moreover, there are further steps to include trend cycle component for all the observations and also to make a seasonal component variable across uh, time. And here I'm going to show you an example in R using a seasonal package. But essentially the idea will be the same that we will be decomposing a time series yt into trend, seasonality and the remainder component. And obviously we can either use this model in the additive form or the multiplicative form. So let's go ahead and decompose yt time series into these three components using a X11 decomposition method. Okay, so we are in R and for this decomposition, we need to install a library seasonal because this is the package which contains the algorithm to decompose a time series uh, using X11 uh, decomposition. And we are going to use this function SEAS and we are going to pass X11 into this function and then we can include title of the graph or anything else that we want to include on this uh, graph. So again, as we saw in the case of uh, classical decomposition, the series electric equipment index, it is decomposed into three components, trend cycle component, seasonal component and the remainder component. But look here, the trend cycle component, it is available for all the observations of the data and we saw in the case of classical decomposition, trend cycle component was unavailable for the first few and the last few observations, but here it is available for all the observations in the series. And then looking at the seasonal component, we saw in the case of classical decomposition that the seasonal pattern was fixed from year to year. But here we can see that uh, the seasonal component is actually changing slowly over time and looking here at this part of the series the seasonal component is showing a peak somewhere here at 0.08 but here we see that uh, the peak is much smaller. The seasonal pattern is changing very slowly here and then we have the remainder component. So essentially the whole idea here is to decompose a time series into these three patterns trend cycle component, the seasonal component and the remainder component and this uh, method X11 decomposition it is preferable to classical decomposition because uh, it gives us trend cycle values for all the observations and then the seasonal component is also allowed to vary slowly 
and this method is somewhat uh, sophisticated as compared with uh, the classical decomposition that I talked about uh, earlier. All right, so this is uh, the X11 decomposition. All right, I'll see you in the next video to talk about uh, our third decomposition method.